Combining into a new kind of soft porn. This morning, Eye on LA looks into this phenomenon. There are those legitimate photographers like Harry Landon, and then there are those photographers right on the edge. We'll be talking to the controversial Bobby Korshak, who's had his legal difficulties in the past, run-ins with the local authorities over films he called art and others called obscene. Korshak's magazines have hurt legitimate publications. In fact, some have been removed from supermarket checkout counters because of their covers. Is he, as he says, glorifying the new female form, just like Zigfield, or is he still, as he's been called by his detractors, the king of sleaze? We'll be hearing from the models, the agents, the publishers. But first, let's meet the always controversial Bobby Korshak. Okay, Mr. Korshak, uh, you're considered by some as uh, the king of porn. Oh. How long have you been doing this? I've been, uh, I've been into it for about three years. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, has it been profitable so far? I always do well. Uh, I see. Uh, Mr. Korshak, this fashion of female muscle building, um, how prevalent do you think it's going to become? I think it's, uh, I think it's the new wave. I think it's an era that, uh, I mean, it's worldwide. It's really important. It deals with health. Now, now I've been told that, that you and many other men find these muscles. What the fuck? Oh! What do you think they look like in blood? Important. Yes. Uh-huh. Mr. Korshak, you knew we'd be getting around to this eventually. It's no secret you've had problems in the past with, uh, shall we say, well, some very sexually explicit photographic work. Do, do you regret any of that now? No, I see growth. I actually do. It's, uh, I mean, we all come from somewhere, and I've tried a lot of different avenues. I'm not ashamed of what I've done, and I'm, uh, I'm proud of what I am doing now. Um, to expand on that a little bit, I, uh, I've tried a lot of different avenues from acting. <laughs> Wait a minute. Actually working in some of the films. Still my friends, primarily. None of this stuff was released. But... Um, it all hey. to bring me to this point now where I'm, uh, I'm doing very well. What are you trying to pull? In your opinion, Mr. Korshak, uh, do you do film or still photography represent a woman at her sexiest? Uh, Is that one of those tricks? I think Congratulations.
9.30 and I'm on my way, but I'll be at the... Can it wait? I'm doing this slalom over the canyon. I gotta talk to you. Jackie! Right here. What happened last night? Christ, you start early. What are you boozing for? 10 o'clock in the morning. Breakfast of champions. Jackie, please, come on. What happened? You fucked up again. What do you mean, how? I don't remember a damn thing. You're really something, girl. You draw a blank whenever you... What did I do? Do? <laughs> All right. I talked to a client of mine. A woman could offer you the first reasonable gig you've had in years. I tell her how talented and beautiful, etc., etc. She goes all the way to Martino's to find you. She calls me later to tell me that she did like your style or whatever's left of it. And you know what you do? Why don't I remember any of this? <laughs> You're kidding me. You know what you did? You called her a dyke. A greasy diesel dyke, to be exact. <laughs> Why would I say that? Because she is one. But you have to say it? Listen, Jackie. I just woke up with a dead guy. You got more serious problems than lousy lovers, believe me. <laughs> no. I mean dead, Jackie. This man is cold. You're kidding me. I'm looking at him. He had a heart attack? Yeah, from a knife in his chest. And there's, there's blood all over. Christ, Alex. Should I call the... Should I call the co cops? I think you better. I'm scared. <laughs> you know what I mean, Jackie. The cops! No, it's bad if you run. I don't even know where I am. You better call the cops. And the lawyer. It'll be all right, babe. <laughs> you want to bet?
Uh, what time is it? 10.15. Friday. Thursday, November 28th, 1986. Do me a favor, will you stop by my bank? It's on the way. It won't do you any good. Huh? Turkey, pilgrims, Indians and all that. Shit. Uh, that uh, inquiry about your bank isn't your sweet way to beat me out of my fare, is it? Fairfax and Santa Monica. Hey, Harry. Vivica, you were on again last night. Channel 13 with Richard Egan. You sure were something, Viv. Hey, Harry, I missed the bank. Could you cash a check? Sure, Viv. Could you stand 200? Ouch. Thanks for opening up. Vivica phone? Nope, just those. You can take off now. I just got a couple of heads to do for a party. Make sure I got a line upstairs, will you? Miss Harding, say what it was about? No. Nope. Probably the party. They give one every Thanksgiving. I know. I see pictures of it in the Friday papers. Lucky. Who? You. It's Bel Air. You go out, you do her hair, and then you get to stay, right? For a while. Thanks for coming in, Ren. next flight to San Francisco? On the half hour, but it's booked. Well, I'll take the next one. That one's booked, too. How about later this afternoon? We're booked solid all day. It's a real mess. How about, what do you call it, stand-in? Stand-by. You can try gate 2B, but they're like animals. <laughs> what is it? Oh, God. My husband just called. I've been stuck in traffic for two hours. Tell me that she's dying. Her condition was stable when I left San Francisco, and now, all of a sudden, with no warning... She? Whose condition? My daughter. A cute angina pectoris. Seventeen years old. Oh, my God. Would you... Please, can't you get more of the Honey, let me get my supervisor. Oh. You wait over there. Thank you. Madam. Madam, I've been told of your situation and will do everything possible, of course. But there's no procedure whereby we can arbitrarily displace passengers already holding tickets on our San Francisco flight 119 in order to... How about Vegas? What? You fly to Vegas. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, you guys. What the hell can you do? I've been trying to call the auto club. It just went dead on me. I'm sorry. Let me give it another try. I think it's just the electrical system. Let, let, let me try it again. Tail lights don't work, lady. Hey, are you insured? I doubt it. 
Why don't you stay here while I go with the police? Hey, don't I know you from someplace? You look familiar to me. Oh, This may take a little while. That's OK. You want to try the starter? Where is it? It's hanging below the dash, two little wires. All right, now give it gas. Ah! No, give it gas. Yeah. OK, OK, OK. This isn't a pickup, is it? Okay, I was just checking. Yeah. You going into LA? Uh-huh. I'm uh, Turner Kendall. Vivica, do you watch much TV? Uh, no, not much. Got a loose heel. Spade and caddy. Ran into somebody. Spade and a caddy. Got anything like Jack in the Box? I oh, wish I had the caddy dealership in Watts. Spades, uh, they spend disproportionately on their transportation. Also in dressing their young. What are you, the clan anthropologist? You can tell a lot about people from the cars that they drive. You sure can. Well, th this is an investment. <laughs> an investment? Well, sure, I'll fix it up a little bit. Your beaners, they'll fight with machetes for a car like this. My beaners? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a tail fence. Anything late 50s, GM or Chrysler, you don't say beaners? No. On your best behavior, huh? Third, uh, in Garland. That's where I'm going. Oh, okay. But I'd be glad to take you wherever you're going. Just drop me where I can get a cab. Whatever makes you happy. A cab. A cab would make me happy. Look, it wouldn't be out of my way to take you where you're going. You know. How do you know where I'm going? No place to be that far out of my way. Find yourself with a lot of free time on your hands, Turner? Oh, just the clan meeting this week. That's all I got. You need water? <clears throat> no. You're experienced, huh? Some things. What are we doing at the airport? Me, uh, seeing my daughter off. Spent a couple of days with me. I had to put her on that 12.30 flight so she could get back to her mother by turkey time. 12.30? Yeah, I hung around, I guess. I used to like to watch the takeoffs and landings. Now modern airports can't see the planes. It's like the bus depot. Haven't heard that in years. What? Bus depot. Well, it was a holiday. Maybe you like watching all those people say goodbye. Yeah, maybe. May uh, say hello to you know. What, the 
This will be fine, right here. Here? Here? Yeah, my friend lives right around the corner. Whatever makes you happy. What if he's not home? He's home. He's sick. Uh, thanks again for the lift. Oh, it's, uh, stuck. You gotta pull back and shove at the same time. Give one to the Grand Dragon for me. You got me all wrong, lady. Really? Well, that's okay. I probably got you wrong, too. I did that to you. I didn't mean it, I swear to God. I'm not a bad person. I'll just tidy up and uh, you keep on doing whatever you were doing. Got me crazy. Huh? You call me a lush? Something crazy like that? I'll get the windows next time.
Kitty. Here, Kitty. Kitty. How'd you get into a closed cl address on this matchbook. He was laundry for him. All the time. You don't look so domesticated to me. Well, I'm not. I'm just a good friend. It must be nice having a good friend. You a lonely sailor? No, but I, <laughs> I don't have anybody doing my laundry. Poor thing. Where are you from? Bakersfield. No wonder. And you're L.A. by way of the Big Apple. Right. Thanks. Anytime. I'll take it. No, it's okay. I'll take you to the door for you. What do you do for work, Turner? I'm a cop. Ex-cop, really. Disabled. Don't look disabled to me. I'll take that as a compliment. Good night. I'd uh, ask you in, but it's too ethnic, the neighborhood. Oh, I know. It's Jewish. You know, very stable real estate. Low turnover. Exactly. Helps them to keep certain traditional values. Turner. Very heavy emphasis on uh, educational achievement in the arts. Hey, these Please. people. Please. But you know, that kind of isolation, that does breed prejudice. Turner. Look, I have a little disappearing act. I count to three, and you disappear. Oh. One, thanks for helping me today. You're welcome. Two, you really saved my life. Any time. Three, goodbye. Sure. Sometimes it doesn't, you know, when I'm tired. What the hell? Come on in. I got a couple of tacos in the freezer. Whatever makes you happy. What you got, all right? Two tacos. Have I ever lied to you? That's very weird. What's weird? Two tacos, a jar of olives, and six and a half jars of mayonnaise. Well, I always think I'm running out. And, uh... Possibly lettuce, or is that a lime? Oh. I don't cook. And four gallons of Thunderbird. It was on special. Ah. Ah. 
All your uh, your credit cards are all expired. I notice in your wallet. Uh, but there's there millionaires wish they had as much mayonnaise as you've got. Any plans for tonight? Yeah, I'm going to take a shower. Air conditioner has been busted for a month. Hmm. I'll take your shower, and uh, I'll be right back. What for? Well, looks like you could use some real food. Give me your keys. You get back in. that they had was sandwiches. That's fine. And cranberries. Well, you gotta, you gotta have cranberries. It's trifle fruity, <laughs> lacks depth. But for the bucks, you can't beat it. Hey, you married, Turner? Well, who'd marry a guy with a 56 Chevy? It's an investment. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? How'd you get disabled? Well, it was an incident. Really let it all hang out, don't you? Okay, I got stabbed by a little hooker, 14 years of age. Little spick hooker, was she? <sighs> See, no, I didn't say anything about spick. What stopped you? She happened to be a Scotch Irish extraction, but you're right, most of them are Chicano. I didn't invite them in. You wouldn't. Hey, come on, it's Thanksgiving. Well, I'll drink to that. <laughs> anyway, she must have uh, must have got some nerves up here. I can't draw my weapon right anymore. Feels awkward. Maybe you just got tired of being a cop. Oh, are you kidding? That was the best job I ever had. Oh, hassling drunks and hookers, speed traps. Must have been a good yeah, life. Yeah, I did investigation work. I might have made detective. Was it in L.A.? Bakersfield. Seven years. That's where you studied bigotry. You're bad. <laughs> How can
could I be a bigot? Mm. I mean, they're all full of ill will and malice. I just uh, make observations. Like Spade, Wiener, and Spick? <sighs> That sounds like a law firm, doesn't it? Spade, Beaner, and Spick. Good morning. <laughs> you got a twisted view of the world, you know that, Turner? Coming from who? Broad has got 100 gallons of cheap wine and two frozen tacos in her icebox? Don't forget the mayonnaise. Actually, I'm rather surprised that I don't look familiar to you, Turner. <laughs> Obviously, you don't watch the better TV channels. What? I am an actress. <sighs> was. I was even good. They were grooming me to be the new Vera Miles. The new who? Exactly. Exactly. I was supposed to replace somebody the audience didn't even know was missing. <laughs> I gotta call Jackie. Call who? God, Turner. Don't you know anybody? I mean, what do you do all day? I do plenty. Well, name one. I like to repair stuff. <laughs> stuff. What stuff? Whatever needs it, whatever people are through with. <sighs> are you really any good? I could have. I could have been a contender. <sighs> hey. I think I did see you in a movie once. Thanks. Sad. Take this in the bedroom. Hang up the phone, Turner. Hi, Jackie. Again. Who's drunk? Oh, come on, baby. Aren't we pals? What? Oh, yeah, that. It just slipped my mind. Oh, don't get mad. Nothing. I've just got some laundry to do. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. No.
Hello, gorgeous. Oh, God. somebody in the apartment when I went back. You saw somebody? No, but they were watching from in the closet. See, I was looking for the cat. Your cat? Somebody's cat, a goddamn blue-eyed cat. Where is he now? How do I know? On Broadway. And I got out of there. You say that you saw this dead guy on TV? You sure? I'm sure. He was taking pictures of ladies with biceps and string bikinis, and there was a lot of loud music. <clears throat> That's all you know about the guy. He takes dirty pictures. That and you took him to bed. Oh, wait a minute. He took me. It was, it was his place, not my place. It happens. Well, just be your way of making friends. But you know what's funny? I didn't like him. Well, I guess you didn't. I mean, on TV. I wouldn't have gone to bed with him. You did. I know. I know, but it's funny it's anyway. It's not funny. You black out, don't you? My advice, turn yourself into the cops. It's what Jackie says. Who the hell is Jackie, huh? My hairdresser. You told your hairdresser? He's also my husband. You wouldn't understand. Look, Turner, if the cops get their hands on me, they're not going to look for anybody else. That's not true. Because, because of the other time. What other time? My ex-husband called the cops and had me booked and tanked. Jackie did? Jackie's not my ex-husband. Before Jackie, there was another guy. We were kids. I wanted to put you away. Because he was an asshole. We were discussing my problem over a couple of drinks on a weekend, and uh, next thing I know, he's bleeding. And I have a paring knife in my hand. How long were you inside? A while. Three months. No, 
last long enough to know what it is. Yep. You've been drinking for some time. <laughs> we weren't drinking then. We were just kids. You really drink now? No. I mean, when I want. Who the hell side do you want, anyway? Thanks. <sighs> Whose place is this? A friend's. This one alive? Maybe you did kill that guy. I didn't. Well, either you did it and you blacked out, or you blacked out and you were set up. I choose number two. Either way. So long, Turner. It's been really nice talking to with you. With the record. What do you expect to call somebody who guzzles beer at 9 o'clock in the morning? You bought it for me, you son of a bitch. It's stuck. You've got to pull I back. I know, I know. Grab it with both hands and shove. Why don't you get your lousy car first? I don't have the money. Well, get a job, you bum. In the movies, like you? <laughs> shove it up, your lily white ass, Turner. Grab it with both hands and shove. Come on, Frankie, rise and shine. Yeah? It's me, Alex. Oh, hi, girl. What's up? Frankie? You, you alone? Yeah. Yeah. You want a million dollars? Oh, my God, who are all these people? What's everybody doing up? Two in the afternoon, Frankie. Oh, what a night. You should have been here. Where oh, were you? I need help. Oh, honey. Don't we all? <laughs> no, listen. I don't have time. I need clothes. Makeup. And a tie job. Honey, you know where everything is. You help yourself. Huh. What do you think? Oh, God. Frankie, don't you have anything simpler? No, a little less. Uh... Honey, I'm a drag queen, not a transvestite. I don't buy no house dresses. Oh. There is, there is a thing I bought last year for a date at the bistro. He was with the mafia. Real sweet, and they're conservative. Oh, oh God! Your basic black. Don't tell me it won't start. I want to help you. Who, me? The drunk? Yeah, that's what you are, all right. Then what do you want to help me for? Because you're innocent. There was no body in your shower last night. And why would you put one in there after I left? Somebody in the closet, that could mean you were set up. If you were set up, there might be somebody you know. I gotta call Jackie. Maybe he can help. He's smart. He knows the people in charge. In charge of what? Everything. The world. He's a hairdresser. It's what he does. It's not what he is. How long have you been separated? We were married 10 years. How long ago did you separate? Ten years ago. It must be lovely growing old again. We gave it a try and it didn't work. Do you know when we separated, we got close. It's funny, but I, I don't know. I guess it's not so funny. He loves me, and and uh, I helped him. I I put up a chunk of my savings for his first shop. When I stopped getting parts and pictures. Jackie takes care of me. Whose idea of staying married? Both of us. 
I think I help him out with those Beverly Hills clients he scores. Well, he's straight, huh? Yes, Turner. There are straight hairdressers. In Bakersfield, Jackie's a gay name. His name is Joaquin Monero. He married a Spanish man. Jackie, these two gentlemen are here to see you. Oh, and, um, Vivica called. She, she said she'll call back. Um, she can't be reached. Is this a good place to talk? No. Look, was she having something with this guy she killed, Korsha? Come on, Vivica never killed anybody. <laughs> What's this? Just used her apartment to take showers in? Who told you to look there? We're detectives. She's not capable of it. I know her. She got a violent record. Assault with a deadly weapon. Did you know that when you married her? It's why I married her. Are you just here passing the time, or should I call my lawyer? It's a great place for a stud. Are oh, you a fag, Jackie? How bad do you want to know? He's not in his office. I called his car, and he's not there. There's Vivica. There's this cop that I know with homicide right here in L.A. No. Maybe he can help. No cops. Just on the phone. Why should I trust some cop pal of yours? I don't know. He's Jewish. Sergeant Greenbaum. A friend of yours said I should call. Yeah, hello. I'm calling about a body. Any particular body? The one, the one on 1560 Sweetser, Mr. Korshak. Oh, that body, yeah. Hey, your friend doesn't want you to trace this call. What about Korsha? Hello? Are you Vivica Van Loren? I didn't do it. I'd really like to hear your side of it, Vivica. Maybe we... I just, uh... I thought you should know that where he wound up... isn't... it's not where he started, so to speak. So to speak? I mean, if I tell you where it happened, maybe you can find out how it happened. Are you giving me a clue? An address. Yeah, I'm giving you an address. He was killed in a loft apartment at 544 Mateo Street. And I think you should look for fingerprints inside the closet, near the entrance. Just go over there right now. Oh, by the way, who's the friend that recommended me to you? whole area it's all gonna go get turned into black glass skyscrapers <clears throat> they're smart ones making a bundle holding out like this uh, Korean landlord that I got been here less than 10 years owns half LA they say uh, Orientals have bigger brains than us think so sounds reasonable
going first. Turn these nuts on. I only uh, came to LA a while ago with my wife. A uh, month after that, we got divorced. She went back and uh, we split up the stuff. Everybody gets divorced. Well, I don't believe in divorce. You don't believe in it? Mm, no, I hate it. Why'd you do it? She did. She said I wasn't uh, promising. Left you her cookery stuff, huh? That was mine. He cooks too? Quite a fine, Turner. She must have been crazy. Oh, I don't know. I, I see your point. Don't you lie about anything? Yeah, sure. What's worth lying about? You're a great reader, huh? Oh, uh, those? Well, no, I mean, uh, I plan on reading them when I, when I have the time, you know, uh, I just, uh, buy books. Quarter a piece sometimes in, uh, Santa Monica, even by the pound sometimes. Uh, can't resist all the, all the subjects that interest me. I'll get to them. What's keeping you so busy? Oh, you know, nothing. <clears throat> Daily life. <laughs> That'll do it, daily life. Oh, my God, Nancy Drew? <laughs> it's a complete set. Yeah, I'm saving those uh, for my daughter. <laughs> Only she just, she just told me she's too old for him now. Too old? Oh, <laughs> I've always loved her. Oh, God, Nancy Drew? <laughs> She's so smart and, I don't know, outgoing and... Do you want them? Hmm? What? You can have them if you like. Oh, no, I couldn't. Why not? No, really. Please. Are you sure? Positive. All right. Good. <laughs> I'd love them. When I'm in the clear. Yeah, when you're in the clear. <laughs> Been a long one, huh? What do we do now, Turner? Wait for uh, Greenbaum to do his stuff. Waiting for Greenbaum. I think I saw the play. You're a rare dame, Vivica. Listen. Vivica's my fake name. I'm really... I'm Alex Sternbergen. Weren't you a uh, sports announcer out of Cincinnati? <laughs> Alex for Alexandra. Oh, that's nice. I like it, too. Like in arguments, it's harder to yell, Alexandra. So, would you mind if I call you Alexander? If you promise not to yell it. Oh, I won't yell it. Do you have anything to drink? I got some vodka. You want some? No.
What's going on, Turner? Do you know? Well, tomorrow I'm, I'm going to go uh, over to the loft to see her. Here, I mean. What is it? We want to get laid? Why do you do that? What? You haven't wanted to get laid in years. <laughs> I didn't say you haven't been. I said you hadn't wanted to in years. Well, then, um... Until morning. Sure, darling, I live here. Don't you drink? You're the fake. They'd mention the one fucking good film I made. You were uh, asleep on the couch this morning when I left. There you go. Why didn't you say hello? place you said you were at Korshak when you were there. Then where'd I meet him? You don't know, man. No. Yeah. In bed. You made a call at Martino's and you got a call. Well. You remember nothing? No. None of it. Remember last night? Yes. I was saying somebody not ask you to leave on the phone. <laughs> Why they pick on me, Drew? Why not? You're perfect for it. <laughs> you 
you got a record, you were blackout drunk, yeah. you pissed away half of your life. You made such a success out of yours? Restoring fucking culture? You don't know what it's like. What? Losing it. What'd you ever have to lose? I was an actress. You drink, Alexandra. Oh, you're yelling. Fuck booze. You're yelling. Don't you want to know what's going on? I gotta get out of here. Go where? Where's Greenberg live? Green bomb. Oh, they live together. Is that sweet? Hey. Do me a favor. <laughs> Have I ever denied you anything? <laughs> Stay here. <laughs> I'll be back. Today? No, I picked up a copy at the airport, but uh, haven't had a chance to read it. Yeah, Jackie reached me in Tokyo. About an 88 hour time difference, but you know Jackie when he wants to do something. He spoke to you? Well, I. I assumed he'd already spoken to you. Spoken to me? Well, isn't that why you're here? Why? Well, we worked it out together, he and I, before I left for Tokyo last Monday. Monday? Welcome back, Mr. Hurley. Thank you. Wait. Messages can wait, Miss Rose. Yes, yes, Mr. Hurley. <laughs> it's just a simple matter of uh, formalizing what's been the de facto truth between the two of you for some time now. You do want me to handle it, don't you? What is there to handle? A divorce. What else? <laughs> Nothing else. That's the woman, the blonde. You sure? Yeah. Well, um, not to swear in court. I heard her yelling, and then I just uh, caught a quick look at her as she ran down the hall. What was she yelling? She was threatening somebody. What was she threatening to do? It was more ranting and raving. She was drunk. I wouldn't say, well, she could have been. Did you ever see her before? I mean, did she visit that second floor apartment often? Not to my knowledge. That's how I put it to the police. All right, thank you. Oh, you're locking your cat out. I wouldn't own a cat. What little cat are you, blue eyes? Hey. I'll look in on you in just a few minutes. Will you? It's a mistake. What about color? Natural. Give me a hint. Some kind of brown. What? What is it? Come on, Jackie. I talked to Hurley. He must have called you. You don't understand. 
Yes, I do. That's what's sad. Doesn't even have anything to do with the jam I'm in. He said you talked to him a week ago. You did? You couldn't come to me. We didn't even have a fight. You had to go to a fucking lawyer. Was your lawyer too, Alex? Was my lawyer. You have all the business now. It's just legal shit. I'm going public. You know what that is? Selling stocks, so. It gets complicated. <sighs> it's not so complicated. You met somebody, didn't you? Anybody I know. <laughs> Isabel Harding. You're kidding. No. Harding? As in Pasadena? Bel Air. I love her anyway. Is she a client? Sometimes you do her in her home. Once in a while. Beautiful place, huh? Beautiful enough, yeah. All that money. I got money. Ah, oh, but with the Hardings, it's so much more. There's all that breeding. Is that it? All that early American stuff? I don't give a damn about all that early American stuff. But if you're talking about uh, clout, yeah. Sure, Jackie. You've been on the outside long enough, huh? Now you want in? I want in. Right. Joaquin Monero. You're damn right. Aren't you afraid of being bored to death? Not a bit. Well, she's probably no more boring than the rest of us. Yes, she is. Moving to LA? Oh, I'm thinking about it. How you been, Sergeant? Vegas feels a long commute. Uh, I'm not with him anymore. What brings you down here? Homicide. What else? The car shack thing. Oh, it doesn't ring a bell. I'm surprised. Why's that? Well, it made the news. The deceased Bobby Korshak had a little something to do with. Dirty pictures or art, depending upon how you feel about naked ladies. <laughs> the prime suspect is known to us, as they say. Well, you guys are good. Well, we got some problems. Where he was killed, the body was moved. The place was cleaned up, so there's no blood, no weapons, no signs of violence. I'm talking about the kind of cleaning. My wife would go crazy to find something to do for us. <laughs> Just a strand of hair, not Korshak's. What color? Blonde. The real blonde? Who knows these days? Also, could it came from a wig? Well, the lab will tell you that. You were wasted up there in Bakersfield, Turner. <laughs> She's still at large. Who's that? The prime suspect. Actual movie star, the Victor Van Lauren. She should be easy to find. She's been quick. But I'm gonna give her 24 hours anyway. Why is that? On the outside chance she didn't do it. Somebody out there knows she didn't. Nice to see you again, Herb. Same here. Take care of your kitty, Turner. Charlie, cool records. Let me check on a cop. Probably ex-cop out of Bakersfield. Retired, fired, or disabled. See if he's getting any checks forwarded. I want an LA address for him. Name's Kendall. First name, Turner. Alexandra Sternbergen. It's 
It's not gonna hide you for long, babe. I know, I'm okay, I got a place. Where? A guy. He's got an apartment. Sort of. Who, Frankie? No, a guy I met by accident. It's okay, Jackie. You don't need to know. Just stay out of it. Alexandra? You can't trust some guy you met in a bar, Alex. It was the airport. Wherever. What does he want? <laughs> what do you mean? Nothing. What was he doing there? Seeing his daughter off. Did you see his kid? No, but she... He knows I'm innocent. So do I. But no, not because he's my friend. He saw there wasn't a body in the shower, and then there was. And then there was. He put it there. No. Who else could have? And so easy. You were passed out, am I right? It was when I was talking to you on the phone. He was there, wasn't he? Yes. And didn't he know where Korshak was? Will you call Harley? I'm staying in the morning. You'll be OK here for now. You know where everything is. And will you stay here with me? I have a dinner date. The Hardings? I'll come back in an hour, an hour and a half. They go to bed like babies. Hey, I'll bring Isabel. Oh, that'll be nice. <laughs> Maybe she knows, uh, you know, a tougher lawyer. Tougher than Harley. You know the kind gentleman looking with a real killer for his client? You want me to turn on the tub? Oh, no, not now. Take a rest, babe, OK? Forget about everything. Bring me back something from dinner. <laughs> Wake up hungry. I remember. Sam, pick him up when he reaches Olin in Washington. Thank you. Uh, thank you, all of you. And thank you, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Harding, for this lovely dinner. And for having such a lovely daughter. Now, I'm afraid I have to take her away from you for this evening. I'm not supposed to tell. It's a surprise party. I never did know how to get someone to one of those damn things without giving it away. <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> Thanks again for everything. I know we'll see you again soon, Mr. Monero. I'm sure of it. Fred, would you bring Miss Harding's car around, please?
Jackie? Jackie? Jackie. He's coming back. Alexandra. Oh, oh. Alexandra, there was a double in that loft. Somebody <laughs> wanted to look like you. They made a fuss. They made some threats so the neighbors would see. And they did. I know, because I talked to her. Who'd want to set me up? Me. Homicide has oh. got a blonde hair from up in the loft. Now, what I'm saying. is that it came from your wig and not from... Well, what the hell happened to the bleach blonde? Gotta get this wig to Green Bomb. Stay down. We'll pass out. Officer. No, no, I need to 
Thank God you're here. He killed Korshak. Now tonight, that poor man there. No. It was her. Korshak had pictures. He's been blackmailing her for years. He threatened to show them to her father. My father is Joshua Harding. He will be able to. Harding? Is that Judge Harding? Her phone. All right. What can I do for you? Nothing, thanks. It was impounded. That 63 Mercedes you left the airport the day before yesterday? <sighs> day before yesterday. I got it released. Had him leave it downstairs. Thank you, Herbie. At least I went out of car, Miss Fairhorn. phone me to meet him. Sports announcer you liked, <clears throat> you know, from Cincinnati. Oh, I never liked him. How'd you get in here? Oh, Dr. Hauser said it was okay. Doctor's name is Picton. I used Hauser. used to look this way. Oh, I should have known you then. Yeah, you should have. Harding says he killed Korshak, and he says she did it. Bye-bye, Jackie. What do you mean? You know, who do you think they're going to believe? Her or some? Some guy named Joaquin Monero. No. Who do you believe? I think she did it. I think they'll put him away, and I think she'll do a little time or not. I think 
that's the way it is. It's a bitch. Hand me some water here. Do. When? You know. I don't know yet. Work? Wait for you to get sprung? Oh, that's a nice thought, but... All we know about each other is day and a half on the run, somebody trying to kill us. Brings people together. Maybe a good way to start. Hell, the rest will be like, I don't know, Sunday on the farm. What do you know about a farm? Well. I have great hopes for you, Alexander. What about for us? You don't want to live with a, with a lush, is that it? Would you want to? I haven't had a drink in two days and a night. We say goodbye then. Whatever makes you happy. Been here all night? Yeah, I'm just leaving. Take good care. Alexander. You have a right to know something. All right. Yeah. I was a drunk for 10 years. I got cut, but I was on my way out for a long while. You came back. Trying to. It can be done. I know this trick. I count to three, you disappear. One, thanks for visiting. You're welcome. Two. It was a pleasure meeting you like this. Yes, it was. Three. Good luck. You too, Turner. didn't work. I never did see that damn trick done right. And you never will. Whatever makes you happy. 
you. Oh, you make me happy.